food diary and it's a real pain keeping a food diary because literally you have to write down I took a bite of my child's sausage at lunch but when you add up all the bites and the little things that you're kind of nibbling on throughout the day it all adds up to quite a lot of food and it's only then that I realized how much food I was consuming and then I thought to myself right I've got to cut out the nibbling bits in between and just eat three healthy good meals a day but without denying myself any kind of specific food groups. We eat a lot of this stuff uh, in my house. This is a corn underneath here. But not open it. Actually, have you ever tried corn on the cob without butter? It's really quite nice. People think that avocados are um, fattening and you know indeed they are slightly fattening but they're also good for you. It's all right to eat avocados and there's things like nuts as well. Nuts have got oil in but it's kind of good oil and I love things like pine nuts on salads and stuff like that. Oh, can I just say something? It's one of my weaknesses. Olive oil. But that's okay. It's all right to have olive oil because although it is fattening, it's sort of good for you, isn't it? It's better than lard. <laughs> I did the no carb diet after um, after I had Holly, and I did lose absolutely shed loads of weight. Um, however, I became completely obsessed with carbs. All I could think about from dawn till dusk: carbs and sweets. And um, it ended up that I'd let myself have a day off on Sundays, um, and I'd say, "Look, okay, you'll give yourself carbs and, and sweets on Sundays." And I'd start eating sweets at sort of six thirty, seven o'clock when I woke up, and I'd literally have pasta for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I was so like desperate for it, and I thought, "Well, what's the point in this, really?" And then when I allowed myself to go back onto a normal diet, I put all the weight back on anyway. This, this sort of food regime that I'm talking about, it isn't a diet; it's a realistic way. Um, of eating for the rest of your life where you can achieve a size that you feel comfortable with and keep it there. I'm an enormous lover of chocolate, yes I am. There are times when I literally crave it. I get literally angry if I den deny myself food. I mean I try and have maybe like three treats a week. A typical treat would... <gasps> Would be one of these, perhaps. <laughs> oh, it's one of these, that's very nice. But obviously not a whole one. I'm talking probably three of the cuby things. So I try not to eat bread for breakfast, but um, at lunchtime, quite often, what I'll do is I'll have a slice of bread and butter with what I'm eating, or a bit of French bread, or um, I love pita. Oh, pita bread and dipper dipper, that's what we call it in our house, bit of hummus. Everything in moderation is fine. You know, moderation is a word that I seem to have only learnt in the last year. Meat is very easy, and if you're sort of stuck for ways to prepare it, come to the fresh meat section in the supermarket, or go to your local butchers, because often they've prepared things already, like stuffed chicken breasts, or um, rack of lamb stuffed with herbs, and whatever. Um, so they can give you ideas and also they can help you on how to cook it. I eat more and more fish actually. I was petrified um, of fish before, not because I didn't love the taste, because I really, I've always loved the taste of fish, but I just didn't know how to cook it. And I used to think, oh, what do I do with the heads and the tails? And um, slowly my husband and I have been going through the recipe books and looking at how to do it. And it's so easy. You know, a lot of the time you can just literally wrap it up in some foil and bung it in the oven drizzle of olive oil and that's it. Sea bass, mackerel, smoked mackerel as well. Quite like tuna but it's so filling. But again, oily fish is absolutely brilliant for you. It's brilliant for your hair, it's brilliant for your skin, your nails. Um, it's brilliant for your brain. I can't gut a fish, don't ask me to gut a fish, I, I'd be sick. But generally speaking, I try and buy it headless, tailless.
lot, but then um, your body gets used to it and 